sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. Then. Cross the job. Oh, man, I, I, I would agree with that. Yeah, yo. And Danielle, she's over at TheRoot.com. She's a social content producer. She is not new to this show at all. I tell this girl, I just saw her. Wait, I think you saw her as well at the dinner, yeah. that um, yeah, yeah, Pink yeah. Power yeah. dinner. Yeah, and I always tell Danielle, she's so easy to root for, man. She's got oh, the most bubbly that. freaking demeanor. Thank you. And she's all up in this pop culture shit. It's so. interesting, because when I walked in that room, I didn't know what we were walking into. So, <laughs> And I'm kind of, uh, I'm not, you know, I, I just kind of put my, head down like oh <laughs> snap because we were so underdressed for Tracy's event and then um, I didn't realize you were on the other side of the table yeah I waved you waved at me and I was like oh shit, <laughs> you know I don't want to be one of those hey so remember me yeah I no, no I, when I saw you it cheered me up <laughs> yeah you, you got that energy he thought Thank that you. we were being inducted into a cult into a secret society it's a little <laughs> secret society it how is. it was set it up is. the room the dinner it was really nice uh, people sipping on lemonade I thought I was Listen. gonna be the sacrifice Danielle that's why you saw how quick I got out Slay <laughs> was like I'm I'm gonna head out. Yeah, right. <laughs> Took a few pictures, shook a few hands, and yeah. you know, was yeah. out of there. It was nice, though. It was how beautiful. You, how you been? I've been so wonderful. I mean, trying to just do everything mm -hmm. between working out and working and mm -hmm. having a social life mm -hmm. and living in New York. Mm. It's a lot. It's a, a lot, lot on right? your pockets, it is a too. a lot on... Oh, Lord. Yeah. Yeah. What's the latest on the route? What is the latest on the route? Every, everything is education right now. We're yeah. talking about graduation. We have all these black colleges mm -hmm. letting their, their graduates out. And I don't know if you guys saw the Morehouse, uh, the March. I don't know what they call I that. I didn't, I didn't, but yeah. uh, it's like when everybody's walking to the, to the location. And it's just amazing to... To see us graduate yeah mm. um something as simple as that you know because it's, we're not living out here yeah that's um and it's just a beautiful thing to continue education and to show young kids that there's more there's more know? right there's more yeah. and education is definitely the road to take so it's it's been really good to be able to tell those stories continually mm -hmm. um i have a series on the route called out loud mm -hmm. and the the premise behind that is that it's our thoughts and our feelings out loud of mm -hmm. black people out loud and we did one recently with hbcus mm -hmm. um everybody is so proud <laughs> when wow, they're from an great. hbcu yeah so it's really nice to be able to share those like yeah. heartwarming moments how does yeah. that do for you like metrics wise um they do really well um before I came to the route they didn't really have a lot of video content and so that's what I brought to them because you know BuzzFeed wins on that yeah but no one was doing it with our stories you know like the regular old I'm graduating or you know I'm, I'm facing depression or you know I'm, I'm dealing with being a single mother so those are the stories that I like to tell because not everybody gets to be Beyonce yeah but True. everybody has an amazing contribution to the world so I want to be able to make sure that black people are always present Okay. Mm -hmm. So I think they, and to your question, I think they just do really well because people are like, oh my God, I get to see myself. Yeah. So yeah, they I see they that do representation. Well. Yeah. You know, speaking of Beyonce, Beyonce is actually in the news today. Yeah, it is uh -oh. not for like the best thing, yo. So uh -oh. we all know about how she has Ivy Park, which is her sportswear line. Oh, yes. Okay, so I love it, but. I don't know how I feel about it now because if you're going to pay attention to what's in page six, they're saying that her sportswear line is being manufactured at a sweatshop. Well, didn't we expect that? I didn't. That's not what, usually you, the standard you, you when it comes to. That, that's typically what happens. I or? feel like that is typically what happens. Like well. sweatshops are a real thing for a reason. I don't know, but the thing is that it's been taking such a long time for her to manufacture this. So in my uh, mind, I thought it was because she wanted Somebody's grandma it. was sewing it. In the <laughs> Possibly. All right, grandmas need money, too. But even page six, they spoke to this 22-year-old girl who says she makes only $6.17 oh. a day. And her quote is, all we do is work, sleep, work, sleep, work, sleep. That's their formation, yo. That's work, work, actual, work, work, work. That's an but, actual but, but, but you, Tracy, I, I, I feel like, uh, I think what you're saying, too, you would imagine that Beyonce and her handlers or yes. who's ever running this company would have done the research, mm -hmm. you know, from top to bottom. To Everything's going to be under that microscope because people are just going to be looking for the weak spots in any campaign that mm -hmm. someone of that caliber yeah. is, you know, doing. So, is it true or is it rumored? <laughs> I mean, it's... <sighs> It depends. They have someone. It's being reported. Okay. So this is coming from, you know, the page six stream of news. So depending how you feel about page six. Allegedly. I'll see what the big deal. I'll make less than that. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm surviving. She's going to work for Beyonce, DB. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, my gosh. Would you stop wearing it if this is true? Mm, that's that argument, right? Like, that do is. I stop listening to R. Kelly because of the stuff? You know what I mean? <laughs> the stuff. Um, the stuff. <laughs> 
Um, I don't. I can't wear Ivy Park anyway because it only goes up to a size twelve. Ah, so. shut up. That's discrimination, <laughs> y'all. Right. So I'm already out of the conversation. That's a quick scapegoat for myself. Mm, that's not like. That's not her bread and butter. You know what I mean? Beyonce didn't, as a little girl, wasn't like, oh, I want to grow up to have a sportswear line. So I don't need to give her money for the accessory of her life. Yeah. That's mm. not the trunk of her career. The trunk of her career is music. So when it comes yeah. to the album, I'm totally down for that. This, I'm a bit on the I fence. I give Beyonce plenty of my money, though. So yeah. I yeah. think we're good. So, yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, okay, yeah. Cool. So you would wear it? Yeah, shut up. <laughs> I know, I hate to. You always be saying whatever. Whatever, I'm just going to go to another story okay. while you I totally think about it, okay? That. It's your style. Whatever. Azealia Banks. <laughs> I have a different type of story about her. I know everyone's sick of hearing about how she's going on her racist rants on Twitter, yada, yada. But this time around, she actually has an apology for all of us. So we already know how she got into that wild spat with um, that former One Direction member, Zayn Malik, where this is what she had to say over the weekend. Dear world... Now that the immediacy of the infamous incident has worn off, I've had some time to decompress and take a more rational assessment of things. I want to extend my sincerest apologies to the world. Employing racial slash sexual slurs slash stereotypes and attempts to make fun of or degrade another person or group is absolutely unacceptable and is not fair or fun for anyone. Allowing my anger to get the best of me, I've managed to insult millions of people without reason. And for that, I give my deepest apologies, Danielle, do you accept? See, the thing about her apology, she went on to also apologize uh, for her Curry comments because she doesn't want to be, uh, she doesn't want to enjoy Curry later on and have to feel guilty about it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I curry was, is banging. She was like, oh wait, about the Curry thing. See, I really enjoy it, so don't yeah. come for me. I just, I don't know what's wrong with her. I don't want to make fun of mental illness, but I do feel like she is a little bit unmedicated and might need a counselor of some sort. I hear that. Yeah, because I feel like in the same day, or at least definitely in the same weekend, that 14-year-old Sky Jackson, yeah, she then went into someone else's Instagram comments and called her... Um, this child is a cunt in training. A child. Wow. A black girl. A little, a little <laughs> black girl. <laughs> exactly. And no one, no one who is Yo. mentally stable would do that. <laughs> a cunt in training. training. I take real offense to anybody that comes for children in that way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because um, you remember, year like a year or so ago, they did that. The Onion did that to Kwanjane Wallace. Um, and I just, I find it very strange that Azalea Banks attacks her own set <laughs> like right. it just doesn't make any sense everybody can get it everybody, everybody can get everybody it and them to also come back and say oh yeah curry by the way i don't really mean it i just i don't know Listen, i feel so man, bad for i her. mean look she's no different from donald trump or kanye who West. didn't get his account suspended by the way yeah. and bet midler was like but wait yeah, it's a lot of uh, uh, celebrities or entertainers feel like they had a liberty to say whatever they want to and not mm -hmm. be accountable for it. And tomorrow I'll apologize and the next day we, we'll be buying their music and going to their concerts. But mm. the only difference is no one's buying right. Azalea Banks' oh, damn. music. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Damn. Damn. Yeah. Damn. Just come for I Azalea think. Banks. Please don't let her come for me via Instagram or whatever right. social Get media platform that's left. No, no, Listen. No, let her come for you. Yeah. Listen, because people will be on my side on that one because she's she's does the most kaboom all right <laughs> now moving over to the world of lamar odom so we all know very well what happened in october when he overdosed at this nevada brothel now the owner of this brothel the love ranch dennis hoth he has invited lamar back to his old stomping grounds he says he's going to enforce a strict no drugs policy however he's going to make sure lamar odom has some remy martin on the side if he cares to have a drink or Damn. five and he also said, the first night and two girls are on me. <laughs> that is a yeah. really good group on right there. <laughs> See, that, 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 that's how you get crackheads to go back to crack. Listen. Right? You just kind of wave that carrot in front of exactly. their face. Exactly. Yeah. They haven't Cracky learned crack. their lesson. I'm not going to say I'm giving you crack, but. But, but yeah, you, you know. No crack will be in the area. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he's going to uh, ensure that Lamar gets the best possible privacy treatment ever. I hope Lamar learned his lesson and, don't, and doesn't do it. You know. Please, no. Sometimes you know, people don't, though. Sometimes people don't learn their lesson and they go back to the trap. Um, if you know anyone who've experienced that, or if maybe it's you, Share that story, 888-742-3345. Yo, Chris, what you doing out of school? Sway in the morning. 
Sway, the morning shave for five uh, from the root.com. We have Danielle Young with us today. Yeah. Hello, hello. And uh, Lamar Odom is in the news. Yeah, when the freak is he not? But this time it's because the owner of the Love Ranch, Dennis Hoff, this is exactly the spot where Lamar Odom was found overdosed back in October. Well, May, June, July, guess what, Lamar? You have a free invite to come on down. Dennis Hoff is saying he'll give you the first night and two girls on him. He'll have a bottle of Remy Martin on your nightstand. Everything will be there. Put it in perspective. I mean, the last time he was there, he OD'd, right, mm-hmm. overdosed, and drank Remy Martin for, how, what was it, a 72-hour stand or it, something? It was a good weekend. A good right. weekend, right? And then, what, what was it, cocaine in the system? And, yeah, you know, all of that involved. Yeah. and um, So this guy, he's saying for all of those who are criticizing him, he wants to people to not forget that everyone who works at this love <coughs> ranch is responsible for saving Lamar's life. I mean, I wonder if he learned oh. his lesson. Hey, you know what, DB? <laughs> well. Oh, shit. <laughs> they said everybody who worked here is responsible for saving his life. For saving his yeah. life, not thought, kill, not that, nearly killing yeah, him. Yeah, to put his life in jeopardy. <laughs> I mean, you know, would you go back? It's free coochie, free drink. Remy, though, not like everything. Yeah, right. You know, it's, it's not a, open just bar. Just a Remy, not even Martin. like top shelf. Yeah, no. you go, if you were him, would you go back? I don't know, man. It, the pussy is powerful, man. You know. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Brothel. Yeah, it's free, too, this time? Shit. Yeah, it's, it's on the house? The girls on the street free, too. But, exactly. <laughs> for Lamar yeah, Odom. You, yeah, you, you, you need to have game for that, though. In the brothel, you ain't need you no game. You don't have to try. Yeah, you ain't got to try. Well, if you got Lamar Odom money, you really don't need either. You just go in there and, bitch, you know. Yeah, remember the bill was like $75,000 for that weekend. Are the Kardashians, well, is Chloe still in charge of his money right now? I'm not I'm sure. Because I think she she had his estate yeah, on the right. platform. Yeah. I think that's starting to end because supposedly she um she wasn't paying uh, Lamar's father's rent anymore. Lamar's mm. father was mad at her and blasting her. Yeah, she had power of attorney. Yeah, they're, they're still, still married. married. That's yeah. the thing. Yeah. Uh, would you go back? Or you know anybody who didn't learn their lesson and got went back to the trap? Sean is on the line. Good morning. Yo, Sean. Hey, hey good morning, y'all. Listen, no, my dad went through it, you know, but one of the things that he was able to do is get away from that scene. You know, he would move to a different city and everything. What I was going to say is the reason why celebrities, you see them relapse so much, is because they don't really, they can't get out of that scene. If a celebrity gets out of the scene, then they're not a celebrity anymore. So it's kind of that catch-22, you know, in order to get better, you got to get away from it. And the, the celebrity in itself is a drug. <laughs> You know, so so you yeah. gotta you gotta so you believe you gotta watch the people you surround yourself with in order to get out of it. Yeah, definitely. You know, like for me, nobody knows who the fuck I am. So if I fall off or whatever and I get in trouble and then I'm trying to get clean, I can move to a different city where nobody knows me, nobody's doing nothing, nobody's calling me and bothering me, and I can really focus on myself. If you're a celebrity, it's out there, man. People are looking for you, wanting to holler at you, wanting your face on their product or whatever, yeah. it's really hard to, you know what I mean? And that's probably what this is. He, you know, he probably knows that, uh, you know, Lamar's not going to go back, but he's putting that out there because it's a form of advertising. Mm, yeah. True. Smart, and we're talking about it. All right, but you know what? We'll change the subject. Yeah, let's freaking do it. We ain't going to support this shit. What, what else you got? All right, so Foxy Brown, we haven't heard from her in a hot minute. Um, and this is actually sad for her because she was flying. She was flying out of Los Angeles. She was using American Airlines. And according to her, a thief stole an estimated $100,000 worth of personal items from her, from the carousel. She had this Gucci suitcase that was shining inside. She had diamond jewelry. She had Birkin handbags. <laughs> that's plural. She had eight pairs of designer shoes. Add that all up. And according to Foxy, the mathematician, 100 k is what it's worth. Oh, Inga. And it's gone. <laughs> Yo, here's some advice. I fly all the time. Um, the things that are important to me go on the plane with me. Right. Things I don't want to lose, I don't check in, you know, and, and it won't go through baggage claim. That's right. going to be on the bag that's on my back. Mm-hmm. But where is she going to or coming from that she needed all of her designer jeans and bags and boots and scarves? At Maybe once. she has some checks waiting for her in L.A., Danielle. That's She's like, I have to stunt for at least two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> and I need to make sure I change my Birkin bag every day. That's why you got to be careful when you, like, your suitcase, too, will already say what the value is of the contents inside. Man, yeah. you do not check in bags 
that uh, you, that you have that 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 kind of value inside of the, you don't do that right you, just, you, you, yeah. you can't so, I, I'm, my diamond necklace won't be in my bag that oh. I checked in but see that's that hood rich mentality you're like I really want people to see that I have this Gucci bag mm. and I'm so excited yeah. about it like uh, that's just that's I, just new money. I used to work in the TSA man <laughs> oh, don't right. ever check your you fucking valuable oh you guys go through and uh, not me not you <laughs> but I've seen people do it, man. They, they, they Not even just to steal, but just to like, yo, look at this shit, you know, especially if it's a celebrity That's stuff. Terrible. Yeah. I remember one time before James Brown passed, he came through the airport, and motherfuckers were going through his stuff, like, trying on his clothes. Wow. wow. Oh, my God. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's, see, it's bad, man. That's awful. No, it's real. It's what real. A when you see what happens, it changes your whole perspective. I'm never about checking traveling. a bag again. And yeah, 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 exactly. And then you have a hard time reclaiming your items or even the value of your items, getting paid back for what's was stolen from the, the, TSA. The process to actually prove what you had in there or the value of it, you know, that kind of stuff, it, it's, it takes forever. And some people don't even bother going through with it. Yeah, it don't make sense to me. Hmm. Why would she do that? Um, Crazy. Tracy, thank you for that celebrity wire. Yes, yo, anytime. Twitter, Instagram, holla at me, at it's Tracy G, I T S T R A C Y G. And Danielle, where can they reach you? They can reach me everywhere at Rapso Danny, R H A P S O D A N I. And of course, theroot.com. Wait, Ooh. say that again. You said that real quick. Oh, Rapso Danny. It's like Rhapsody, but with my name, Rapso Danny. R H A P S O D A N I. Okay, damn. All right. <laughs> I just it. felt like I had to throw it out as fast as Tracy did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you have a flow there. <laughs> Daniel, thanks for coming by. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Adrian Brody is going to join us after the mix, and then Pastor A.R. Bernard is going to be here as well. DJ. It's Sway in the Morning, only from Shea 45. <laughs>